Okay, let's look at an application for the law of cosines. This application involves triangulation. Let's suppose there's a couple of cell phone towers. Here's a tower, there's another tower, and we know those are 6,000 feet apart. Now, also, let's suppose there's a cell phone sending a signal to those towers, and we know that because of the delay in the signal between the cell phone and this tower here, that that distance from the cell phone to that tower is 5,050 feet. And in the same way, we know that the distance from the cell phone to this tower over here is 2,420 feet. So what we want to do is kind of get a location for that cell phone. We want to do it by finding this angle right here. It would be sort of like using polar coordinates where we know, the di we know the angle of rotation and we know the distance. And that will give us the location for that phone. So... We've, this is a situation where we've got side, side, side. And we know how to find, use the law of cosines to find that particular angle. Remember the law of cosines, it's going to go like this. It's going to, um, whoops. To find an angle in the law of cosines, remember it goes like this. We have the cosine of the angle, and it equals the two sides that are not opposite squared. So this is be 50, 50 squared plus 6,000 squared minus the side opposite squared. See? So cosine theta equals 50, 50 squared plus 6,000 squared minus 2420 squared all over two times the sides that are not on the opposite. Like that. So this is how we can figure out what that angle is. And then we go through and work this out. So we get, if we punch this in our calculator, we get 0.9183. Okay, so, so we know that's not the angle, that's cosine of the angle. So then we can do inverse cosine. So we've got theta equals the inverse cosine of 0.9183 and that means that theta equals about 23.3 degrees. So that's how we can uh, solve a problem involving side-side-side where we find an angle.